Yeah, it's safe to say the summit was a failure. Not only did they not come out with any nominee, which really wasn't expected, but they didn't even come out with any shortlist, and they couldn't even really rule anyone out. Essentially, this is boiling down to a conflict between different EU countries, different European political parties, and most importantly, different European institutions. The big question is whether only one of the Spitzenkandidaten, the candidates for commission president that were put forward by the political groups ahead of last month's European election should be eligible to become European Commission president. The European Parliament says it can only be one of these people, but many EU leaders say, no, 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 it's the Council of 28 EU national leaders that decides this. Now, French President Emmanuel Macron just finished his press conference, and he is very much against the Spitzenkandidaten system. And he said that since none of the Spitzenkandidaten have been able to get a majority in either the European Parliament or the European Council, the system is now dead and they should move on and talk about other names that were not one of the candidates. Now, not everyone agrees. Angela Merkel, German chancellor, was a little softer. In her press conference, she was saying simply that they couldn't get a majority right now, but maybe they could in the future. So as you say, another summit has been scheduled for just a week from now. They want to get this settled before the first sitting of the European Parliament on the 2nd of July, but it's hard to see how they're going to get any agreement a week from now when they couldn't get any today. Mm, OK, and of one of the other issues on the top of uh, the agenda there in Brussels, I mean, perhaps against the backdrop of, of, of the fact that, you know, thousands of climate protesters are out on the streets uh, in countries all around Europe today. Uh, no surprise, therefore, that uh, uh, climate really is under discussion and it's been very much at the top of the agenda in Brussels. Dave? Yeah, this was the other point of failure at this uh, council summit. They had hoped to get an agreement backing a plan to decarbonize the European Union by 2050 to get it to carbon neutrality. That's been a big push of President Macron. They were really, really close. A lot of Eastern European countries got on board at the last minute. But at the end of the day, Poland vetoed that decision supported by Hungary, Czech Republic, and Estonia. Now, this was really the last chance for the EU to adopt this position ahead of a UN climate summit happening in New York in September. The UN Secretary General had urged the EU to adopt this 2050 target today so that it would inspire other countries at that UN summit to also increase their commitments. The feeling is now that if other countries at that summit in New York see that the EU isn't doing anything, the EU being the most ambitious on climate, then they'll say, well, we're not going to increase our commitments either. Uh, so President Macron in his press conference was extremely frustrated about this, but he said he's going to keep trying just because they couldn't get an agreement today doesn't mean they can't get an agreement in the future and that maybe Poland's concerns about uh, this possibly hindering economic growth could be assuaged. They could come back to this issue at the next European Council summit in October. Of course, that's too late to influence the UN summit, but uh, it could be settled then or possibly early next year. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Dave Keating in Brussels, thanks a lot for that update.